This experiment deals with the conservation of momentum involving uh, types of collisions known as perfectly inelastic collisions in which two objects collide and then move as a unit after the collision. The first step is to measure the masses of the four objects involved. Cart 1, the mass of cart 1, you measure on the balance, record that mass. I also measure cart 2 and record that mass. And we measure bar 1, recording that mass in our data table. And finally, the mass of, car, of um, bar 2. recording it in the data table. Now I want to show you what we're going to do. Um, we have two carts. They're going to collide and stick together through the use of Velcro tape. We have an ultrasonic um, distance measuring device back here that will determine the distance to this cart 50 times a second and plot a graph of that and determine the uh, velocity. We're going to actually show just the velocity graph. Let's see how what happens now. Um, first I begin to collect data on the computer, give this one a shove, and it collides with the second one. And you'll see from here, this green line shows the motion of the car before the collision. This is area ends the collision. And then after the collision, the two cars move together like this at a smaller velocity. We will measure velocity by moving this line at any point along here, determining the velocity before the collision and after the collision. All right. Let's actually begin the experiment now. We'll be doing two trials, each of three um, different masses. First, with the cars empty. Trial one. And read the velocity for trial one. There's the velocity before the collision. This velocity is in terms of meters per second. Record that in your data table as V0. There it is. And the velocity after the collision, which is Vf, also in meters per second. Record that. Now we'll go through the second trial with the empty carts. That one was too close. I had, the, had it too close. We didn't get good data from that. Can't read the data. We'll try it again. That's good. I need this um, interaction, the collision, to be out here further from that. Uh, away from this data table uh, box. Reading the original velocity before the collision, you have that volume. And after the collision, you have that volume. Record those. For trial two. Now we're going to put Mat bar one onto cart one 
and run the experiment again. Reading the data now for this trial. We have the velocity before the collision that you see there and the velocity after the collision that you see there. Record those. A second trial with one bar. Reading the data. Before the collision, there's the velocity. And after the collision, there's the velocity. Now we're going to add the, the second bar for the last two trials. Reading the velocity data before this first trial of the two bars. There's the value before the collision and the value after the collision. The final trial for two bars. And reading the data, you see before the collision, that's the velocity. And after the collision, that's the velocity. OK, you've now completed taking data for this experiment. To complete the experiment, you want to make the calculations of the total momentum before and after the collision and compare them by computing a percent difference and compute the kinetic energy before the collision, the kinetic energies after the collision and compare them um, also by computing a percent loss in this case and then uh, answer the questions, submit your report. Good day.